Hello and a very warm welcome back to our latest episode of Sunship. This one's going to be all about our efficient gearbox design guys. We've seen that a few of you out there are really struggling to get an optimal production of gearboxes. They are a complicated resource to craft so we're going to be going through step by step our gearbox design so you never have to worry about having a shortage in the future. So with that being said let's get straight into it and jump into our sandbox building. Okay, so in order to craft the gearboxes, we're going to need an input of three resources, the iron bolts, the iron plates, and the steel gears. Now this design is 12 by 12 and fits in your micro factory. So we're going to start off firstly with the steel gear production, as this is the biggest part of the design and takes up the most space. So we know we're going to need iron and carbon to craft the steel. We're going to start off with these two synthesizers for our iron production. We're gonna split them off and heat them up as usual. And we're gonna have four mixers to make sure that we don't have any sort of shortage of steel gears. We're then gonna put our carbon production and to do that, we're gonna use another synthesizer, split it off, and that's gonna feed all our mixers through the splitters that we're using here. Now in order to craft the steel gears, we're gonna need some steel plates. So we need to put down our presses. We're gonna have three of these. And then lastly, we're gonna put down our shapers to craft the steel gears themselves. Now we're gonna channel these all the way down the left-hand side so our grabbers can eventually put them in the mechanical assemblers. That is our steel gear production set up in place. And next, we're gonna move on to the iron bolts. So to do that, we're gonna put one synthesizer up into this top right corner here. We're gonna split that off to try and get as much production as possible, heat those up and press them down. We're gonna be using an underground belt to allow for more space for the future bits of the design before splitting again to put our cutters down And then we're going to add another splitter here. But the idea is to have three sets of shapers on the go so we can really start to maximize our iron bolt production and channel these around again so there's a nice steady supply. So that finalizes the iron bolt production. We've got one production material left to craft and that is the iron plates, the simplest of the three. Now the reason we left that space between the underground belts is to put a synthesizer in there to just give us enough space to split these off, heat them up here. And we're gonna merge these two lines into one before adding another conveyor belt right next to the iron bolt line. So all that's left to do now is to put our mechanical assemblers down. I'm gonna put five of these down here, selecting our recipes, and in order to get all these materials into the grabbers themselves, we're gonna need some long grabbers. Now we're gonna be using fast long grabbers to maximize the production here, but if you've not unlocked that yet, feel free to use the regular grabbers, but the production will obviously be a bit lower. So now we've got all our grabbers importing the materials into the mechanical assemblers. We're just going to need a final set to export the finished gearboxes into the exporters themselves. And that's going to involve putting this final line of long grabbers here, followed by the exporters like so. So this is the final design here, guys. Let's give it a whirl. And we can see we're making 2.1 gearboxes per second. That's a fantastic amount kicking out in this small level five micro factory. We've got a plentiful supply and the long grabbers are able to take all the materials themselves and export them at a really good rate. So the next thing to do is save it as a blueprint and get it into our micro factory. So I'm gonna do a quick check of the costs here. The main obstacle to building this is the amount of gearboxes required and the glass tubes required. They are solely due to the amount of long grabbers we've got here in this design. So if you want to forego those costs, use your regular long grabbers and you can maybe start to upgrade this design as you increase your gearbox production. So here we are guys, we've placed it down, we're going to give it a whirl and we can see we're producing 
around about the same amount, slight deviation from the sandbox building, but nevertheless, 2.09 gearboxes a second, starting to fill up nicely in our transit. I'm gonna have a nice steady supply in our storage for all our future designs. We hope this design has helped you out. As always, feel free to check out all our other content on Sunship. We've got lots of designs out there that we're more than happy for you to copy and implement into your own Sunships. Other than that, stay tuned for the next update, guys. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.